Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon, so be sure to text us, Need Software, to 323-405-1341. That's 323-405-1341. We aim to please, so expect 24-7 technical support, the latest premium software, instant software links delivered to your email, and PayPal buyer's protection guarantee. Super predators. No conscience, no empathy. Love. We can talk about why Let's they ended it. up that way, uh, but first we have to bring them to heal. The irony, the government gave us drugs to sniff and smoke. Then incarcerated us when we distribute coke. Public housing where the richest folks with fancy furs. Don't name a in the jets with expensive coats. They made a profit off of economics. Would I speak your favorite artist and change the topic? I'm Huey Newton. Revolution can't wait to start it. You Cam Newton was a panther turned patriotic. So we got a question from um Mandarin2099. He said, Peace Jamal, brother Jay. Curious about the mind state and creative process when Exodus was being made. That album is fire. Thank you, <laughs> Mandarin2099. <laughs> man, um Exodus man was um a salute to the elders that we spoke about earlier when I first came to meet with Sonny Carson. And basically every symbol on there represented different houses of thought that were in that circle. And um, it was gonna be a lot of um, um, sacred geometry type of conversation on those projects. Mm. But um, again, um, that's not something that is necessarily an elder conversation. And that's something that I learned you know, in my travels, you, you don't have to say a lot of words to elders in order to let them know that, you know, right. you feel me. So, um, I was caught in that time frame with Exodus because when you look at the cover, the album should have been deeper to me. You know, I, I learned at that time that, you know, when you get that fame, everybody's not in the lab at the same time anymore, you know, now you just dropping your verses and telling them, yo, whenever he gets here, just tell him to fill in here and I'll catch up. Mm. Everybody's out of state, got shorties in different states and all mm. kind of different things and shit now. So Exodus suffered from that to me. Mm. And that's why it was, it was a lot of freestyle songs on there. Songs I wasn't even writing. I was just coming off my head. I didn't even respect the production time that I put into East Blackwoods when I did that project, you know? So, um, yeah, I, 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 certain songs I felt because um, To The East was the first time I sat with PX to write a lyric. Um, you know, we were on the road and coming back, I think from Tennessee or something, and I was just showing him different things. I was creating the monster, so to speak. Mm. But when cats were trying to make him look like Flavor Flav, I didn't want that because Flav is the greatest hype man. That's what he he does. That's what his shit is. PX is not my hype man. Okay. So I said, yo, let's write something to kind of bring you out of just writing the little spoken word thing. Because I wrote the spoken word because he doesn't have good rhythm and pocket for MC shit. Right. I mean, so so Exodus was the first time that it was like, yo, come on, let's just go ahead and, and try this. So I tried it on Cosmic Art and um fire and earth and i just left it again i, I the the music thing is it's not gonna matter i'm not gonna sit there and be like do it again do it again it's not mc pocket it's not supposed to be you got your own personality with the folks now it is what it is you feel me and um and things like that make the album mediocre to me you know what i'm saying i felt exodus could have had a lot more fire to it you know what I'm saying? If I really sat down and focused, I would have cut off like probably two or three of those songs and fortified that shit as like a real follow-up classic. 
you know. But um, but they'll get it. I mean, you know, I I, I just uh, made a deal to do my catalog and the director's cut. So they're getting ready to get whatever their favorite was in a whole different tempo, man. I've, I've been out in the West for a minute, dog. Production is is different now. You know, I guarantee that. Sidewalk Publishing, thank you. They said, what about beef with third base? Y'all had beef with third base? <laughs> Uh, I don't have a beef with third base. Well, did um, y'all have beef with third base back then? Nah, bro. I mean, again, these are rap groups. We're a movement. There's not too much to conversate with at the end of the day. <laughs> 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 these are I'm rap just, groups. We're a movement. This is, this is totally yeah, true. man. I, I is no beef. What I'm, you know? What is the beef about? My thing was, I just hate how people springboard off rap, and you. We're contesting to be the best. And some people get in, you know, off of a privilege or off of just, yo, I was around, just put it on. You know, if mm. if the guard was busting like how um how Eminem busts now, or like some of the more talented artists that are out now, then I would have been like, yo, I see where. But when we get raped, like how vanilla ice comes out or some shit, and it's like the number one dude in the world. Why? Because you you look like Max Headroom and you super clean, dog. I ain't never seen you go through the dudes that I've been through in this game. You know what I'm saying? So I was on, you know, as being in the music as a messenger of, for my movement, I'm still in the game, you know? And I'm saying like, dog, that slot could be somebody ill right there, man. Let's stop all this springboard and this, just bring, you know, artists that got a proper theme. I, I never fuck with Beastie Boys. I never fuck with any of these other dudes that was cracking, but that third base shit, it was just goofy to me. And, I, and and it wasn't a beef to them. It just was like, yo, man, turn it up. You know, in the, in the realm of hip hop, turn it up. You know what I'm saying? Not just as you being white or versus this or whatever, man. Like, you turn your shit up, man. And, and, and anybody in the game should be that. You know what I'm saying? If there's a potential with an artist, you should always be like, yo, man, step your shit up, man. If you're shooting the ball, nigga, hold your wrist up a little higher, do your shit. <laughs> it should always be that. It should always be that, like our body. Who you know told me to tell you say peace? Actually, I forgot to tell you uh, earlier. Who that? Who that? Puba. Oh man, yeah. Thanks, man. Big up to Puba, man, and big up to Sadat too, man. I'll be watching his page, man. He be traveling all over Russia, all kind of shit. Man. Yeah, they actually <laughs> shut his IG down and shit. So oh shit! He ain't even yeah, got his IG right now. That's um, crazy. <clears throat> What was I gonna say? So yeah, I didn't really know when I was talking to you earlier. You said you out in Cali, and you just mentioned a little while ago. I didn't know you was out in Cali. You said twenty years now. How yeah, long I came did you just move out to Cali like that? Um, I, I just got to. I've been there, done that in the city, my lord. You know what I'm saying? And um, I wanted to. I wanted to do something different. I wanted to challenge myself. You know what I'm saying? And and then I also wanted to step my production up to another level, bro. You know, I, I I was telling my brother the other day, part of the reason I came out here because Dre was destroying us production wise. You mm. know what I'm saying? When I put my shit on, it sound like, you know, a transistor radio compared to what kind of mixing and shit they was doing and the kind of, you know, and the comp composition, you know, that they was doing on their shit. So I, I wanted to learn that, you know, and I wanted to be in the land of that, man. You know, anybody know me? In Cali, I went from, you know, Project Blow to doing uh, 30 city tours with, you know, ICP and all kinds of crazy shit out here. I've been through a whole different journey and chapter. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, my, my journey out here really capped my knowledge, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? And, and I didn't have the movement on my back while I was doing the music this time, but the movement is in my rhythm. You know, the movement is in anything that I produce. So I didn't need to have 30 uh, members on stage doing drill team steps or anything to impress the music of X-Clan. You know what I'm saying? So that was a challenge to me to come out to Cali and just slowly <clears throat> do that. You know what I'm saying? And then also to get in touch with my man, you know, my manhood, my, you know, I. You know, I left music alone for the first three years out here. You know, I went and got a construction gig, bro, and enjoyed being, honey, I'm home. 
you know, for, you know, a couple of years because no tours. You know how it is as an artist, bro. You get tired of that sleeping in them damn coffin bunks on the tour bus and mm. living out your bag, dog, and all of that bullshit, man. I, I really felt like, you know, when am I going to get time to just enjoy my manhood and, you know, you know, learn how to raise a family instead of watch your family grow up in the phone and shit, man. You know, that shit is, mm. that shit gets weak. You know what I'm saying? That shit gets weak, dog. So um, so I really came in touch with that out here, man. I, and I really learned desert power staying in L.A. You know, I really learned what it is. I didn't want to learn Hollywood power. You know, I wanted to learn, you know, how Ice Cube come out with a record is gold tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you know how Kendrick come out, you know, you know, first couple of years, you done destroyed 10 years of artist work. And you're the number one in the instant. You know, how does that happen? You know, is your state that big and y'all so down for each other that, you know, the music works like that? You know, and, and I came to get my answers. You know, I, I learned of the underground out here. That's very powerful. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've, I've done a lot of shows with a lot of different underground legends out here, you know, and I didn't wear I didn't wear my ego on my sleeve like I'm above this or above that. Yo. I'm a special guest. Let me come in and, and spit my shit. And I ain't got to spit grand verb or funk a lesson in this. I can bust my nigga. I, mm -hmm. Let me just get up here, get my little 15 minutes mm -hmm. and um, I'll show you what it is. And, um, you know, that love became getting signed to a brand and doing bigger tours. I did the mm -hmm. Damien Marley tour, the Jurassic Five last tour. I did a gang of shit. And this is work that I wouldn't have done if I was following the urban cookie sheet. You feel me? Fact. You know, you, you're you going to tour with this one and you can only go with Dead Prez and you can only go with, you know, Talib and you can only do this. Mm -hmm. You know, we we in the game, bro. You never know who you, who you was touring with. You know, I'm touring with Ghetto Boys. And I DJ was going to say, Ghetto Boys was one of the <laughs> first ones. Like, you, you, know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All the you time. Know, we didn't tour that car, them cars used to be so mixed up, my brother, but it was yep. just everybody's expression. It was no set tripping. There was no East Coast, West Coast, whatever. It was like, that's how you kicking yours. This is my flavor. They yep. love it. Let's go give the show. There was no, there was no beef. That's why I said I don't have no beef with third base. My my thing was as an artist, dogs, you know, step your fire up, man. Don't be the goofy dude, man. You come from Latin Quarter days, man. Destroy these niggas. You know Shout what I'm out saying? Sidewalk Publishing once again for their donation. He says, "How important was Ralph McDaniel's in Video Music Box to the movement?" <clears throat> oh, Ralph McDaniel's. Um, please, I, I just stated that on the page. Um, I saw that um, he's doing a, a documentary with Nas. Mm -hmm. He's getting behind mm -hmm. Ralph's story, and salute to Nas for that. Yes, sir. But um, yeah, but Ralph McDaniel's man, shit. You know, without him. Nobody would have gave us a chance. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, we were on a nice label. You know, Island Records will get you the MTV look. They'll give you your, your little cookie sheet appearance on these shows and whatnot. But for somebody to really nurture your group, you know, he was making out videos and then rotating us, you know, so people got that knowledge. You know, when, when, when we didn't even have music, we would have little uh, 15 you know, uh, 45 seconds uh, segments and shit doing the protection, the red, black, and green. And we have the little, our little movement. Our movement was young then. You know what I'm saying? It was a small, it was a small little click that we had. But um, Ralph always gave us a window to talk our piece. And, um, you know, I love that dude, man. He, he got us over to Jamaica and all kinds of different places. We would, went to sit with the Maroon tribe and all kinds of different shit with Ralph, man. It was you know, he he made it he made it fun for us where people looked at us like aliens and shit, you know, because folks loved us. And it wasn't because, you know, we was in our armor and shit, man, because our music was fucking them up. You know, our music was hitting them in the head. And um, and he believed in us, dog. So salute to Rock McDaniels, dog, you know, all day long. And Video Music Box, that whole classic concept team from that time frame, man. And rest in peace, Handsome, who was um. One of the one of the crew members there. He was he was one of the good brothers, man. No doubt. 